Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In today's tutorial, we will take a look at how to use the scroll button extension in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So I have it installed and I'm going to um, click on it and then drop it on my canvas. Now, if I go ahead to preview this extension, you realize this is how it functions. So it allows you to link to a particular section within your page and it gives you this kind of nice smooth animation over here. So let's go ahead and take a look at effective ways we can use this particular extension. So one way you could go about using this extension is of course using it with layout grid or layers. So let me just start with layout grid. Now, if you are using this extension with layout grid, under normal circumstances, you might want to have this position within the center or the middle of your grid. So there are two ways you can go about that. The first one is first of all for deleting this particular columns, making sure you you have just one column and then moving this into the grid and then double clicking on it and then setting the position or the yes the alignment to center so once you click on this this goes to exactly the middle part of the grid and then once you preview it you realize it's in the middle now the another way you can um, the other way you can go about this is creating two more columns so you create two columns you move this to the left you move this also here making sure they have even space in between them click on ok move this to the middle one and then once you are done you come back here you set the alignment to center so once you are done you click on ok and if you preview it it gives you the same results as this one now if you are using this particular extension it allows you to link to a, a section within your page so if you double click on it you realize that there's a bookmark section which allows you to link to either a layer or a grid as uh, seven as a bookmark over here so let's see how best we can go about that so to um, have that functionality um, working you have to populate or have some sort of um, a scrollable page so i'm going to go ahead to uh, make my page scrollable so i'll start by using some block elements here and then let me come back here and just get more elements to make my page scrollable so let me just come and see i think i probably would want this and then maybe this also so i have um, a scrollable page now and then i have my scroll by extension here so i would probably would want to move this into this particular grid here and uh, is this a grid okay so this is a layer instead there's no grid um so let me just move it out so um i think this this is okay um this is just for demonstration so it's not really a big deal I would have been best um, having this somewhere here because I'm using grid. I just want to stick to the grid functionality that I'm having. So what I'm going to do next is to rename this particular section. I'm going to call it progress. So let me just name this particular place um, progress. And then I'm going to, of course, double click on it and make sure I have bookmark turned on. Now, what a bookmark um, functionality seven as here is it's just allowing us to have some sort of smoothness where we click on that particular button and then it's going to scroll to this particular section it's going to have some sort of animation or a smooth um should i say yes yeah, smooth animation as part of it so that's what we um we've done here by enabling this smooth scrolling so i click on ok and then i'll come back to my extension i will click on it and this time around i'm going to change the bookmark um the section here to um progress realize that i didn't get rid of the pound um symbol of the pound key here what this is doing is it's actually allowing us to link to an id of um uh, within a uh, page so that's how come i left the pound symbol here so you just go ahead to type the name of your bookmark or the name of your um, layout layout grid and then you are good to go so let me click on it click on ok and then preview this in the browser so you realize i have a scrollable page once i click on this it is going to take me to that section now this is where it is supposed to take me but i don't have any element after this so maybe i might want to come back and then change the position of these two so this should come up and then um, preview this again so you realize it takes us to this particular section within the page now let's come back to the extension and see the properties available with it so you realize the first part is the bookmark which we've taken care of the next part is the border width so this border width is the size of the border you want to have for 
extension so let me just preview this so you realize that it gives it a thicker border once we increase the size of the border so of course you might want to customize it the way you want it too it works fine for me and then the mouse color so you decide the color you want to have as the entire mouse so maybe you could choose a different color depending on what you are working on so i might select this and then let's take a look at that also so that gives the edges or the border um, the color that you selected and then when you come back you change the scroll color also so that is what is actually having the animation set to so you can select any color at all click on ok preview this and then you realize that is the scroll um, bar icon over there and then the next part is the time and how do you want this particular scroll um, icon to to be moving so you can select uh, fast or slow depending on how you want it and then you come to specify the size of the entire um, mouse over there so this is the height of it you could increase it a bit maybe let's say um 80. let me preview this in the browser it becomes bigger than normal so depending on how you want it you can set it that way so let me just change this back to 50. And then the mouse so you you go about playing with the uh, mouse wheel left so the mouse wheel left allows you to specify the spacing or the offset um, from the left hand side of the mouse as well as you have from the top and then you also have from the the size of the mouse wheel itself so that is the dot we have in the middle so i can say maybe this is 20 and that is going to be a bit bigger than what we see now so you realize it is bigger now so that is basically some of the options you have available with the scroll button and then you have the entire width so as you're able to change the height you should also be able to change the width of it and then yes that's just about it now this last option available here is because i'm using a layout script that's how to, um how come it's asking if i want to set through it of course you probably wouldn't want to set through it so that is just about how to go about the scroll um, button extension especially when you're using um, layout grid and of course when you are using layers it's it's nothing difficult as a matter of you just bringing in your layers um, they are here and then you go about positioning the extension where you want to have it in your um, page so let me just come back here and then let me just get my screw extension and then I want to position it here now you are not you you can't be so sure if this is in the middle so of course you might want to right, um, right click on this right click on this you might not be so sure if this is in the middle so of course you might want to right click on this come to center in page and then select horizontal so this is going to position it exactly in the middle of the page and because it's not um, aligned let me just change the alignment here to center and then set relative horizontal sizing and then preview this once more you realize that it's exactly in the middle of our page. So that is basically how to go about using the scroll button extension in WYSIWYG Web Builder.